This is Father Jim Corda. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant this morning is Father Jim Corda, president of CTNY, the Catholic television network of Youngstown. I am Ron Puhala from Holy Family Parish. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers Fanny Infante. Lord, when you came to the seashore, you weren't seeking the wise or the wealthy, but only asking that I might follow. Oh Lord, in my eyes you were gazing, kindly smiling, my name you were saying. All I treasured, I have left on the sand there. Close to you, I will find other seas. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It's nice to be with you today as we gather to hear God's word and to celebrate the Eucharist. So now together let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and, and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us join the angels in their hymn of praise. Glory to God in the highest and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people, people of goodwill. We, we praise you, you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, you. we give, give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, God heavenly, heavenly King, King, O God, Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son Lord God, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Amaziah, priest of Bethel, said to Amos, off with you, visionary, flee to the land of Judah. There, earn your bread by prophesying, but never again prophesy in, Be in Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos answered Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor have I belonged to a company of prophets. I was a shepherd and a dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from following the flock and said to me, go prophesy to my people Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Lord, Lord, let, let us, us see your kindness, kindness and, and grant us your, your salvation. salvation. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, 
glory dwelling in our land. Lord, Lord let, let us see, see your, your kindness, kindness and grant us your salvation. salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, Lord let, let us see your, your kindness, kindness and, and grant us your salvation. salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, Lord let, let us see, see your kindness, kindness and grant us your salvation. salvation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessings in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of God's grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him we have redemption by his blood, the forgiveness of transgressions, in accord with the riches of his grace that he lavished upon us. In all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will in accord with his favor that he set forth in him as a plan for the fullness of times, to sum up all things in Christ, in heaven and on earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick. No food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The 12 drove out many demons and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, ancient Palestine and even present Palestine is a dusty land. It has two seasons. The rainy season begins in the late fall and ends in early spring. Then the dry season begins and everything becomes parched and dry and arid and hot. This dusty character of the land of Palestine is reflected in today's scripture passage. Now the custom of foot washing was a courteous and practical gesture. And it is into this dusty land that Jesus sent his 12 apostles. If a community rejected them, they were to shake the dust from their feet you see, that was a symbolic action against the village. But more than that, it was a healing action for the disciples. And in that, we have a clue, a clue in handling life's experiences of failures. In other words, shaking off the dust. Let's first consider how we get dust on us. Now, we get dust on us just by walking through life. 
you know, life is not always smooth sailing, especially this last year and a half. To live and to try is to experience some degree of failure. All of life is a mixture of successes and failures. I think another way we get dust on us is by falling down. Now, sometimes that can be a rather painful experience. You lose your job, you go bankrupt in your business, your home breaks up, your children go bad. You see, that kind of dust and failure can be devastating. Sometimes we get dust on ourselves just by sitting in the middle of the road. We just quit. We just stop trying. That perhaps is the most tragic failure of all. Now let's look at what dust does to us. Now for one thing, dust accumulates. You know, just take a look at your own homes. If we don't dust, it just doesn't go away. It keeps piling up. And the same is true with life. If we let it, the dust of our lives will accumulate and get higher and higher until it covers and colors everything that we do. Let's consider one final thing, how to deal with the dust of failure. Now, the first thing we should do is learn from it. Now, once we have done that, we need to leave it behind, to forget about it, to shake off the dust, so to speak. And the next thing is to try and try again. Jesus said, go to the next village. That translates, forget your failures, shake off the dust, and keep moving on. My friends, the bottom line is this. Failure does not have to be fatal or final. Jesus said, shake off the dust and move on. Together now, let us profess the faith that we all share. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth, earth of, of all things visible and, and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Humbly now let us present to God our special petitions. For the church, the body of Christ, that we may be faithful witnesses of the gospel in what we say and do, sharing the blessings that we have received from God with all those in need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those in positions of authority, that they may use their influence to bring honesty, justice, and peace to every corner of the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for those discerning their life's journey, that they may be open to the inspiration of the Holy Spirit in their lives and respond freely and generously. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who suffer from incurable or terminal illness, that they may be comforted by their faith and by those they love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that we may respond with hospitality and generosity to those who come to us in need, like the 12 hoped to encounter when they came empty-handed to people's homes. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God in heaven, we ask that you lift us up when we fall and continue to guide and direct us in your way and one day be welcomed to the fullness of eternal peace in your presence. We make this prayer in the spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who Who art art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, come, thy thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give Give us us this day our daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the (laughs) sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am am not not worthy worthy that you should should enter enter under under my roof, roof, but only say the word and and my soul soul shall be healed. healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you, amen. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. By your head and pray for God's blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in his peace and grant you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. Amen. May he free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in his love. Amen. Amen. So that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Send forth by God's blessing, our true faith confessing, the people of God from this dwelling take leave. God's sacrifice ended, oh, now be extended, the fruits of this Mass in all hearts who believe. The seed of Christ's teaching, our inner souls reaching, shall blossom in action for God and for all. God's grace shall incite us, in love shall unite us to further God's kingdom and answer the call. With praise and thanksgiving to God who is living, the tasks of our every day life we embrace. Our faith ever sharing, in love ever caring, we claim as our family all those of each race. One bread that has fed us, one light that has led us, unite us as one in the life that we share. Then may all the living with praise and thanksgiving give honor to Christ as his name that we bear. Send forth by God's blessing, our true faith confessing, the people of God from this dwelling take leave. God's sacrifice ended, oh, now be extended, the fruits of this Mass in all hearts who believe. The seed of Christ teaching, our inner souls reaching, shall blossom in action for God and for all. God's grace shall incite us, in love shall unite us to further God's kingdom and answer.